Well, good morning, you're on with Big J, and you know what time it is. It's time to talk sports, news, and information. Our subject today is Kwame Brown, social media bust. Let me set the narrative correct. I'm not saying Kwame Brown is a social media um, bust, but what I am saying, I think that he's being railroaded in so many directions, I don't think he's even familiar with it. Because social media now, I'm trying to see and show you that he's being alienated also from that lime life. We might say, well, he has 300 some thousand people on, on YouTube. That's nothing. But unless you got that gray check, then that's when it means something. All right? Well, he's on Instagram and he has 200. No, 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 no. But he doesn't have that uh, blue check mark. Well, he's on Twitter, but no, he doesn't have that blue check mark. If you look on my thumbnail, you have Charlemagne with one million blue check mark. You have Becky with the good hair with one million with blue check mark. Now, here's the funny thing. The media and others don't like LeVar Ball, right? They say he's very brash and loud. But LeVar Ball has one million on Instagram. And he has a blue check mark. So wait a minute, I'm confused about something. If Kwame Brown made $70 million in the NBA, isn't he at that status quo of an individual who should have, because he's in the entertainment world, a blue check mark? So then his numbers really on YouTube are not validated based on his credibility and what he's done. As far as an NBA player, it's like they're treating this cat like he's just a regular old dude. Let me show you something so you'll understand what I'm saying. And this right here is it's really getting to me. And, and, and I'm not a Kwame Brown or Matt Barnes or anyone's advocate. But we have to look at the truth. And am I saying there's a go-along, get-along gang? I'm not going to call that. Call it that. But I am going to say there's a social separation between the elitist and those they don't consider elitist. Maybe because he calls himself Geechee. I don't know. Maybe because he keeps saying mama cooking. I don't know. But when it comes to something, he's not being allowed to reach that level or that glass ceiling. He's being held back completely. I don't care what he talks about, who he cusses out, what goes on on his show. It doesn't matter. Something's wrong. Watch this. In a world of social media, it can be challenging to stand out. Watch this. In a world of social media, it can be challenging to stand out. One of the ways marketers, brands, and individuals can do this is through verification. Verified social media accounts are usually marked by a blue checkmark symbol and have become a symbol of an online clout and credibility. So watch this. He does not have clout. A credibility. I don't care if he brings Judge Joe Brown on, former NBA players. They're not still. They're not giving him that clout or uh, a mark of credibility. So they're still keeping him boxed in as though he's a bust. Now they're changing it though from basketball to social media. This system of economics is something else. Watch this. When social media verification was first introduced. It was commonly reserved for public figures, I remember that, with huge following such as celebrities. Isn't Kwame a celebrity? Since then, the list of verified users has grown to, watch this, include brands, companies, journalists, activists, and influencers. You mean to tell me he doesn't fit in that genre? I'm confused. Right there you have Oprah. All right? Watch this. Oprah. 1,175 posts. 19.7 million followers. And she's only following two people. You get it? She's only following two people. Talks about no one else but her narrative. Getting verified on social media comes with several benefits. This is why I'm saying he can say whatever he wants, 
but he's missing something when you talk about Becky with the good hair and all these other individuals. Charlemagne, Charlemagne, what, whatever he is. Watch this. Number first star, increased authority. <laughs> when you have these check marks, this is not the go along, get along game. These are the gatekeepers that we've been talking about. I finally found them. Watch this. Ability to build trust with your followers. Social proof of who and what you are. Follower growth. Do you understand? Ultimately, the blue check mark is about establishing credibility and legitimacy for brands. The social proof you receive from having a verification badge helps you gain followers faster and increase online engagement. <laughs> so the Becky then with the good hair, they're right. He's not on their level. I don't care how many cash apps, how, how many uh, uh, super chats, he's not on their level. And, it, and it's proving it because there is a gatekeeper system in everything in this economy, in this world. And the gatekeepers are keeping him locked out. Why? I don't know. Because he made $70 million. And in making $70 million, how can they lock you out? How can they not call you or classify you as a part of their social system? This is a real trip. All right, watch this. Let's go down. This is sad, man. You got people who never played a sport, people who've never done anything, but because they created a brand, it became a part of the good old boys network, a good old females network. They've been accepted and they're a part of it. So no matter how many people he has on Instagram, how many people he has on YouTube, he's just a regular content creator who they have not given the rights of passage. Man, I didn't look at this. Now I am. Watch this. Twitter verifies notable and active accounts in the following categories. Government, brands, company, and nonprofits. Um, nonprofits journalists and news organizations. Sports, inclu including esports. Entertainment, activists, influencers, and organizations. Wait a minute. Didn't the man play 13 years in the NBA? That automatically qualifies him to receive a blue check mark. But he has he doesn't have them. Somebody please explain to me in the comment section what's going on. Are they railroading this cat or is he railroading himself? Somebody please explain to me. And he needs to stop saying, somebody help him out and tell him he doesn't have a podcast. He has a YouTube channel. Because I keep looking for a podcast and I can't find it. If we're going to help this brother, we need to help him write. And stop using him. And we need to help him write. Achieve the success that he deserves and help him get there. Because of a lot of things that he's doing and saying, he's actually hurting his own credibility. If you say you have a podcast and you don't, and people are looking for it, it makes you look bad. So then what happens is these individuals are searching for your quote unquote, here we go again, credibility. Well, his credibility is shot because he doesn't know what he's saying. He says, my podcast, but I can't find it. So somebody please who's connected to Kwame Brown, help him understand how to leave all these cats alone, man. You know what I'm saying? You're at a level to where you should have a check mark. If you really want to help the black community, you sit on the board in the chair of these blue check mark people as an entertainer, as an athlete. You don't have to become one of them, but yet you sit there. That's why we need individuals on the police department who know how and understand what it means to stand for the people. You don't have to be a gatekeeper, but yet you can be in a position to where you can help other people. And you can't do it when you're on the outside. Sometimes the best way to overturn something is in the inside. You don't believe me? <laughs> Talk to Malcolm X before he passed. Talk to Martin Luther King before he passed. It was an inside job. Kwame Brown needs to be on the inside. Not talking about Geechee and Mama's cooking, which is all good because people like entertainment and people will buy anything that's entertaining. Look at Dennis Rodman. 
<laughs> but how much is he still talked about? You understand what I'm saying? So it would be good. It would serve us better if he was a part or a gatekeeper and can get in, but at the same time use his platform then to break down a system of bias. Man, when I looked at this, I was like, that's what they're doing. They're going to let him have his YouTube channel. They're going to give him his Facebook, which the numbers are way under. Way under. If you want to help him, go to Facebook and put the numbers there, too. Go to um, Instagram and Twitter and put the numbers there, too. Way under. So what they're doing, they're keeping him out. That You don't think, shh. Man, look at this. Get verified on Facebook. His numbers, he'll never be verified on Facebook. When he's an athlete, remember what it says? Entertainer's athlete. He should automatically be verified. When I went and looked up Becky with the good hair and all these people, yes, yeah, Stephen Jackson, Stephen A. Smith, they are gatekeepers because they have the ability to make shots through the authority that they have with this stupid checkmark thing. So are you seeing what I'm saying? We can help him get there, but he also has to help himself get there. When you have Becky with the good hair up there at the top, when you have Becky with the good hair up here, right here, at the top in black, one million, that means that's one million people he can influence from a biased perspective. And because they follow him, 90% of the time they're gonna listen. Then you have down here, you have Charlemagne, the, uh, whatever, and he has over, over 19 million, or 1.9 million. All right, blue check mark. He's in. Even LeVar Ball, whether you believe it or not, right here has a vocal voice to where one million people are listening. Not 300, not 400, not a half, but one million with the blue check mark. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? That's why LeVar now and his sons can get away with certain things that they couldn't do before because he's created a narrative that individuals now have to listen. I'm sorry, they're still viewing Kwame now on social media as a bust. I didn't say I did, they are. That's why they laughed at him on the All Smoke podcast because no matter what, you know what they were saying? Bruh, no matter what you do, how much you fall, fuss with us, keep coming at us. You don't fit. Don't you see that you're not in? We're in. So say what you want to say. We'll keep rattling you. We'll keep talking about you. We'll keep, keep inviting you to places you don't want to go. I'm telling you, man, this is deep. Hey, listen, you've been on with Big J. Let's talk. Do me a favor. Subscribe to our channel. Help us get to where we're trying to go within the next couple of days. That's 3,000 subs. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment. If you disagree, leave a comment. It's not going to affect me. But what you do, you help the channel and to those who support the channel. Also, smash that like button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload content. If you have not subscribed, now is your opportunity. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would definitely appreciate it. And you know what I'm going to say at this time. Be the best and the best you will become. Yeah.